A great attraction uh, at Lakme Fashion Week. We've seen you over the years. Um, in fact, l the previous season itself at the Six Degree Studio, and the way you bring textiles and the way you bring your um, craft to the forefront is really a beautiful way of presenting uh, your collections and 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 the meaning behind it. Uh, this time around, you've played with the theme of blur. Uh, so I'd like to know from you, uh, what was your inspiration? What went into creating this collection? If you could let us know on that, on those lines. Uh, uh, so we've, uh, so as a brand, we work with handwoven textiles. Uh, that's the essence of the brand. Uh, uh, having done six seasons over the last few years, uh, uh, you know, we are recognized as such. And... Uh, uh, people predict that this is what is going to come out when they're coming for a show with us or if they're going to see one of our creations. I think it was very important um, as a person who spent um, a, a number of years working with handwoven textiles uh, to work on them and create a very strong fashion and design language, you know, go beyond the textiles themselves and use those textiles as a medium to create something which can be, uh, you know, looked at as a, a true design identity of India itself. So I think uh, with this collection, we've broken the mold of, you know, our own self, uh, taking the same language forward, which we always uh, talk about comfort and minimalism, but giving it another dimension of uh, design and fashion. I oh. think that's where the blur is that, you know, uh, when you talk about textiles and hand woven uh, craft, there is a little tiredness which people feel. And then, uh, you know, it is always linked with something which is passe and traditional. Uh, we need to push it forward uh, through our, you know, uh, artisans are very, very skilled. Yes. Uh, but uh, designers need to have that vision to uh, take those textiles to another level. Um, your collection played around with a lot of colors, especially in terms of different shades of black and grays. Could you talk about that? Like, what was the inspiration like, when you were designing this creation, if you could let us know? Uh, uh, see, uh, also, I would say, uh, you know, India is a very colorful country and our uh, textiles are very colorful in a lot of uh, belts. But mostly uh, the belt I work with, uh, which is uh, Calcutta, um, we work with a lot of cotton linen. And there is a very organic feel, a very natural monochromatic feel to that uh, yarn. It was a challenge to our own selves to be able to use another color. Uh, we've, I've never experimented so much with black. Uh, plus, um, uh, I think uh, because we were taking this leap into design and form, uh, black was a very, very important color because it lends itself beautifully uh, to both. Um, having said that, uh, also when we look at black as a color, we look uh, uh, either uh, at something which is very formal or, uh, you know, something which is very strong or something which is very, very sexy. You know, there is, uh, I feel there is a lack of romance when we think of black. I wanted to create that romance with black color, some fluidity, yeah. Thank you. When it comes to your presentations, like I just spoke about uh, in the past, we've always seen a very celebrity-heavy support always rallying there to, you know, help you out and say that, yes, Anna Villa, you've done it again this season too. This show was no different. It was a packed front row. I mean, you've had like a, a number of bevy of celebrities there to show their support. Um, what's it like working with celebrities when it comes to, you know, talking about sustainable fashion? If you could let us know along those lines. See, uh, we cannot deny, uh, living in India, we cannot deny, or every, anywhere else in the world, you know, the kind of power a celebrity, a person in the limelight, a person who can, you know, mold or uh, impact the thought of a lot of people, you know, who are watching them. Um, and uh, it's a beautiful change over the past few years when you see them, you know, look at handwoven textiles, uh, look at the crafts of India and, you know, embrace them and present them so beautifully uh, and we've been very lucky in getting that support uh, we've 
uh, seen, you know, most of the girls were here, um, uh, leading ladies, beautiful women. I think they've worn, and a lot of customers, uh, you know, who've been, Anuradha Parikh was here, you know, she's one of my first customers. She bought the first linen sari from me, so I remember her. Uh, there was another Richa who was here. So they were all in the front row, and they have been great supporters. I think the brand has uh, uh, grown over these years with these people, with the support of these people, and uh, we're lucky to have their support, uh, you know, when it comes to our presentations. So since we're just talking about concluding the day two of Lakme Fashion Week, um, and you mentioned this is your sixth season with the brand, could you let us know how the platform has been helpful in See, uh, uh, I, uh, Lakme Fashion Week was the first fashion platform I ever presented. Uh, I think they pulled me, uh, they got to know about my work, and they were the ones who pushed me to present. Uh, on the ramp. I would not have done it if they did not push me to, you know, present. I was quietly working on my saris in one corner. <laughs> and uh, you all see how it has grown uh, from there. 2014 spring summer was the first show I did with Lakme Fashion Week. And that, you know, um, uh, brought the sari, the way we presented the sari and what our work into limelight. And uh, there's no looking back from there, yeah. So I think it's a great support. Yeah, I completely agree. And if the end result has been such an empowering, strong show, it, it's just proof of the pudding. So thank you so much, Anavila. Thanks Anna a lot. Thank you so much. Could I ask uh, media if you have any questions? Sure. Uh, Ma'am, what's the best youth for you? See, for me, uh, personally, yeah. personally, I'm, uh, uh, I, I don't wear too much color. So, you know, I, I think something like this with a strong something, a piece in the ear, or a, a color which is a clutch or, you know, an accessory which is colorful will do for me. Or, you know, some of the, like, some of the looks which you've seen here, complete zari with uh, linen or gold zari with linen, uh, just a heavy blouse with a uh, normal sari. I think those are my festive looks, yeah. Thank you so much. That concludes our day two of Lakme Fashion Week. Anavila, if I could please request you to come to the front so our photographers can take a couple of pictures. Thanks a lot for your time, pictures. waiting for such a long time. I no think worries. it took a long time. <laughs>